Peter, your breakfast is ready. Hang on, I'll be right back, Lois. I'm just going across the street. Peter, you can't keep using Cleveland's bathroom. Oh, my God. Yes, I can. Cleveland's bathroom is the greatest discovery since fat women discovered Diet Coke. Now I can eat anything. Hey, 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 no, no, no. What are you doing? That's my bathroom. What are you talking about? We just rented this place. Holy crap. Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase. What the hell are you guys doing in Cohort? Oh, we're, uh, we're just doing research for a movie. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Listen, I got to tell you guys, I've watched all your movies like a thousand times. You saw Cops and Robertsons? And my stepmother is an alien? Almost all of them. Boy, I sure would love it if you guys would come to our house for dinner tonight. My wife's cooking sucks, but I just want to look at you. You like meatloaf? Uh, yeah, sure. All right, see you at eight. Oh, man, I can't believe I'm going to have dinner with two of the three amigos. This is going to be way better than when we had that Victorian girl ghost over for dinner. <laughs> Governess drowned me in a well. <laughs> you are a horrible dinner guest. Can you believe it? We're eating with two of the three Ghostbusters. Actually, I wasn't in that. Look at these guys. They can't take a compliment. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I suppose it's possible. Yeah, we've got all kinds of roles available. Speaking roles, background roles, background roles. Oh, yeah, speaking role or background role, either one would be good. You know, I'm, I'm really good at sight gags. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Now it's everywhere. That's comedy. <laughs> Peter, what the hell is wrong with you? That's not funny. Oh, well, interesting opinion, Lois. Gee, I wonder if there's anyone else at this table who's maybe more qualified to say what's funny than you are. Well, we'd need to see a little bit more, but, uh... Ooh, is that the time? I can't believe that's the time. It's late. What? I, I don't understand. You're not wearing a watch. Well, you see, that that's a, sort of a joke, Peter. Well, that's not that funny. It's kind of funny, you know. No, it's not funny. See, if you had said something like, Oh, it's half past a freckle. Aha! Oh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking of the three of you. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this guy. Something that's funny. Okay, here's an impression of John Wayne on the first Thanksgiving. I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. <laughs> Where's this guy been? I do it, uh, what do we have to do? Roll some joints and get high. Yeah, we gotta do those things. That's not funny. Drugs aren't funny. They ruin lives. Amen. No, Peter, you're not funny. I'm afraid Dan's right. You're not funny at all. I don't get it. You're painfully unfunny. Get the f out of my house! Hey, Stewie, can I talk to you for a sec? Look, Brian, I've colored Sebastian the Crab blue. If that isn't a middle finger to society, I don't know what is. Ugh, I don't like it anymore. I wish I'd colored him red. Do you think it's a little odd that Chevy Chase and Dan Aykroyd have moved into Quahog together? I mean... Why here? Why now? I don't know. Maybe we go over there and find out. Maybe we do. Hey, hi there. Uh, can you guys tell Meg I'm seeing someone? Uh, you see anything? Doesn't look like anybody's home. Won't you gentlemen have a Pepsi? What do we do? Won't you gentlemen have a Pepsi? <laughs> oh, oh, yell, 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 yell. What the... what the hell is this place? Welcome to Dump, Deep Underground Military Protection Facility. Wouldn't that be Dump? The F is silent like a knife. We're actually working for the federal government, and we need your help. Spies like us? Can we be spies like them? We've actually resolved our differences. Well, Brian, it turns out Spies Like Us was Ronald Reagan's favorite movie. That still doesn't explain what you're doing here. See, Brian, during the Cold War, the Soviet Union brainwashed dozens of American civilians, effectively making them sleeper agents who could be activated at any time to do the work of the KGB. Activated how? The agents could be activated by uttering a predetermined phrase, they carry out whatever orders they were given by their KGB handler. Well, I mean, what if they encountered somebody who said the phrase accidentally? Not possible. The activation phrase was something that no one would ever think to utter. What is it? The phrase is, gosh, that Italian family at the next table sure is quiet. Well, there's a pedophile up the street that nobody seems to be doing anything about, but it's mainly because he's so funny. Well, look, we'd be happy to help in any way we can. Hey, is Ron Howard's weird-looking brother one of these lab technicians? Of course he is. It's an 80s movie. Hey, there's something on the screen. And those two bums turned to me and said, You're not funny, Peter. In my own house. Well, what was the bit? Okay, ready? I'm John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, Pilgrims. <laughs> Oh my, oh, my. oh, my God, Peter. Yeah, I'll tell you, and I'm your friend, and I'll be honest with you, that's funny. That is funny. And you know what I appreciate about your joke, Peter? It's clean. It's clean funny. If there was some way I could show them how wrong they are. Show them that we know comedy better than they do. Hey, I got an idea. What's the most consistently funny form of comedy in existence? Improv? Improv. 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 We'll start our own improv group and put on a show. All right.
Thank you for seeing us on such short notice, Mayor West. No problem, gentlemen. May I call you gentlemen? Yeah? Now you say this spy is located somewhere in Koha? That's right. We need you to set up some roadblocks to help us contain him. Do you have any clues regarding the identity of this spy? Tricky, sir. See, the operative is completely unaware that he's been programmed. And the only way to activate him and discover his identity is by saying the phrase, Gosh, that Italian family at the next table sure is quiet. It's him! I haven't been this since I... Okay, so we gotta come up with a name for our improv group. Anybody got anything? Um... How about the Joke Ridge Boys? Yeah, not bad. Oh, yeah, wait, uh, how about Funny Side Up? No, 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 guys, guys, we got the name. It's Improvda colon The Truth Is Ad-Libbed. Deliveries in rear. Oh, yes! No, 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 you, you can't just jam jokes in for no reason. It has to be organic to the situation. What the hell are you being so friggin' comedy Hitler about? I was in three improv groups in college, Peter. I was in Improvidence, I was in the Wackadamia Nuts, and I know I'm dating myself here, but Three Smile Island. My point being that I am the only experienced member of this group. I can already tell this is not gonna be fun. How do we know where to start looking? Wow, those are the Russian people? They're all bears on unicycles? Bears on unicycles, everyone. So what do we do now? You are under arrest! Oh, time to lose this costume. <laughs> Cause we're in Russia! Here are the American spies we captured, Mr. Prime Minister. us on, huh? <laughs> right? What do, you, what do you think of that? <laughs> Chevy? That, that would have passed for funny in one of your movies, right? <laughs> okay, moving on. Let me put your minds at ease. I know why you are here, and I mean to help you. Oh! <laughs> well, terrific. The truth is, the reactivation of a Cold War sleeper spy would be an embarrassment to my government. On the scale of our 1981 failed Czechoslovakian occupation outpost, which was penetrated by Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, and their ragtag band of misfit soldiers who didn't even graduate. They slept through the graduation ceremony and somehow managed to come out of the manhole wearing clean press suit, as you say. So, the long and the veiny of it is you're gonna help us out, right? I will provide you with transportation, passports, food, supplies, everything from A to backwards R. Wow, thank you so much for your help, Mr. Putin. Would you like to see Russian cutaway gag? Yeah, sure. Here is Russian cutaway gag. Where the hell is Quagmire? I don't know, he said improv rehearsal at 7, right? Yeah, where is Quagmire? I haven't seen him all day. Oh, you know what? I think he went down to the bank. What was that? What'd you hit me for? I'm passing the story on to you. Keep it going. Keep the story going. Huh? What's Quagmire doing at the bank? It's improv, Peter. You don't think. You don't think. You don't think. You just keep talking. You don't think. Don't think. Don't think. What comes to mind? Talk, 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 talk. Oh, I get it. Tap me, Quagmire. Tap me. Quagmire went to the bank to donate sperm because it's a sperm bank. Yes, there you go. He's moving it forward. He's moving it forward. See, Peter? Now tap Peter. Hey, pilgrims. Happy Thanksgiving, pilgrims. It's me, John Wayne. Oh, no. All right. Okay, you know what? You're not loosened up yet. All right. Let, let, let's do some warm-up exercises. Okay. This is one we call going bananas. Okay. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. Peel the banana. Peel the banana. Now go, bananas. Go, go, bananas. And? Peter, hang on a sec. You're not contributing. I'm doing it. You're not adding information. Well, one of you guys says Thanksgiving. I got a good idea where to go with it. Okay, Peter, let's try something different. Okay, close your eyes. What's the first thing you see? Uh... Don't think. Just say it. First thing. Pelican. Okay, what's he doing? He's complaining about some undercooked food. Who's he complaining to? A snooty French waiter who's really mean to his customers. But then when he goes home, his own life's sad because his girlfriend's mean to him and his apartment isn't so very nice and he's always running out of paper towels. <sighs> I saw it. I seen it, Quagmire. I was there, in the apartment. These signatures are correct. Mare West is located one-third of a kilometer that way. Just over this rise. Yeah, that's what you told us a third of a kilometer ago, you douche. Perhaps you'd like to do something besides criticizing me and quoting my movies? You just watch your mouth, mister. 
Anyway, I'd be happy to help you conduct a search of Quahog and find... You've just launched a nuclear missile against the United States. Well, this day has taken a bad turn. Like Mike Brady's first marriage. What the... Oh, man, we're supposed to do a show tonight. Where's the audience? I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> okay, come on now, something serious. All right. Hey there, sir. Welcome to my pharmacy. Can I help you? Here's John Wayne at the first Thanksgiving. Where's my penis, pilgrims? <laughs> okay, this is not something that should ever have been attempted. Thank you very much. Good night, everybody. Uh, I wish there was some way I could have prevented that. Except how much I love the Michael Jackson thriller video. Source programmable guidance. We can reprogram and disarm the missile from here. I'm the hardwired safety overrides and reconfigure the motherboard so that the missiles... Can I count on you to give me a 10? And that should do it. Droid, we've saved millions of lives. No, 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 no! So what's the deal with Chris? Is he actually, like, still in Africa? No, no, he's not. So that was all... that was just a bit. Yeah, he'll be back next week. Great. Boy, who would have thought all this trouble could be caused by simply uttering the phrase, gosh, that Italian family at the next table sure is quiet. Агент 2476 знает и ждет, пока мы скажем, что сделать с нашей стороны. Пожалуйста, подождите, пока мы вам позвоним. Shut up, 2476.